G'day guys, Define from Define Mods. And isn't 3D printing just the gift that keeps on giving? This thing's called Mod Case and it's a 3D printed ITX case. And um, you get it from Mod Case and they, you upload the files or you download the files. Uh, prints in two sections, uh, a front and a rear. So you get two sections. Um, and it's just gorgeous yeah, so I was looking for uh, a solution I a, 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 I've actually got a few of these laying around the joint believe it or not just old um, mini ITX boards uh, I think this is an old 470 board or 370 board an old Strix board but you know I, I didn't have any cases um, the last case I got uh, runs the, the workshop and it's under here an old Cooler Master and um, it's, it's, as, it's as ugly as F. So I decided to uh, go online and see what I could find that was just cheap. And, and seriously, finding a nice looking ITX case that's cheap, there's no such thing. I mean, you know, there is, but God, they're, they're ugly as F. So, uh, yeah, I spotted this. And I'm not sure how I came across this one. I, I think in the end I've just gone, hey, look, I'm, I'm, I'm a 3D printer. Um, what could I print and uh, this popped up and I was like wow not only does this not just look sexy um, it is and it's really well designed I mean whoever's designed this has just really made a really decent little um, you know everything's chamfered nicely you know everything's beautiful this is done in PLA now the reason I did it in PLA was I wasn't sure and I just wanted to blast one up so I, I just wanted to print them two of them the two halves quickly overnight on the bamboo lab machines and I've got a, a, a truckload of uh, marble PLA which is actually really good stuff I mean this marble PLA is um, yeah it's tough it's really good stuff it's um, a lot just just straight old uh, gray PLA here this marble PLA, this is sediment from sediment. If you're looking for a bargain, like good quality um, filaments, PLA, he does it all. He's got some really nice uh, new new, new uh, filaments in old Sid. But get over there now, have a look. Um, but yeah, I, I'm happy, you know, this will be my prototype. I'll, I'll muck around and just, you know, fart about with it. I've got some ideas I want to change. Um, the, the designer, when they sell it, they say, they say go for it. Mix it up, change it about, do what do what you like to it. Once you buy the files, you, you kind of own them, um, but you can't distribute the files. You know that's that's the one thing they ask. They they, they don't want you distributing the files that you buy. Um, that kills their business. But they're more than happy for you to uh, um, to three uh, D print it and sell it, which is fair enough, I think. Um, so basically, yeah, that what you're looking at is um, um, I can't remember the literage. I mean, there it is up on the website. Um, all the details is there. It's called the Evolution. Um, and it really is. Uh, so what are you looking at? 18.3 litre. That's pretty big for what it is. There's also, uh, when you buy this, you, you'll get these as well. So you get these two. You get those two there. And you get this one as well, I think. So I think you get three cases out of it. For your trouble that's gorgeous too but this for me is just wow um, so the next one i do i think i'll do i, I might grab some petg off sediment and he's got some beautiful carbon fiber um, in carbon infused petgs at the moment that just look absolutely gorgeous um, so I, I think that's what I'll, I'll do my final one in but at the moment, I sort of it's sort of a bit reverse engineered for you to look at. So what I wanted to do is because I won't be able to uh, install this with holding a camera, but I can pretty sure I can pull it out while holding a camera. There you go. It's got a little click down the bottom here, so it's a little a little rounded notch, so that that bit there clicks into place when you put it in. Um, so what you're looking at is a is a little 240 rat, two by one twenty fan Corsair thingy. And that can bolt in the side. I don't know if I'll run water cooling in this, to be honest. I think what I might do is just go air-cooled. And it's designed to have a 90 mil air-cooler, I think. 
it might you might get a 120 in there if it's the exact right size i was playing around with one before um, and the 120 that i had stuck out somewhere out here so that was no good um, really 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 well designed like and it's solid you know like that's like, like, like you know what i mean that's um this f all flex in that i mean i've, I've, I've built cases um, you know i've modded cases that's all i've done for years and years as mod cases and, and to be able to pick this up printed in PLA in you know like eight or nine hours on my printer um, at, at breakneck speeds too I, I wasn't um, I wasn't in cruise control printing this I was just I was just tearing through it to get it built so I could I could have a feel have a look and have a play with it um, but yeah wow really well designed um, all, all options um, you can see here where he's added in um, from the back of the motherboard so you you'd probably what he's saying to do is pop in some little some little uh, m3 nuts and then you you put your, your m3 screw through here and it'd catch on those nuts but I was more inclined just to add in my own heat inserts uh, and I've left them slightly proud of the plastic just slightly proud so the board never actually sits quite on the plastic it's sitting on the nuts um, uh, there's your connections those one you had two one down the bottom and then one there another one up in the top excuse my dodgy camera work and that's what holds this thing together so there's four screws holding this together right now and it's as solid as that you know look at that seriously um, 3D printing, it's, it's, uh, it, it seriously is the gift that keeps on giving. Beautiful design work, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's, there's not a, not a thing, thing missed at all. Um, it's designed so you can drop, uh, that's a 120 fan, he's giving you a bracket. He gives you all the options and brackets. So basically that would hook down into that groove there. Uh, like so. And then they would just screw up into the top and that's got that fan in being done um, that's if you don't want to run a, uh, a large um, a large gpu of course um, if you want to run, run a large gpu i don't know what this old thing is this is an old old one but it fits no problems slots in look at that bang too easy so that'll go in there um, it gives you a little lockdown plate at the back to hold the GPU in place. If you'll focus on that, and then you run your nuts, your screws through there, so it looks all nice and pro. That actually bolts onto that back section and those two holes there. Um, that's a 90 millimeter fan there. <laughs> Outlets for a little water ad for your water cooling if you if you're so inclined. There's a plate for the bottom, and you can um, you can also run a mesh 3D print a mesh grill to go in there. The side panels are for both sides, so you get uh, a back side panel, you get these, these side panels here. You've got two options, you can go with a solid panel, uh, which is 3D prints, or you can go with a frame and add your own piece of perspex in there. So if you're running that, you just pop in your piece of perspex and you can have a nice tinted side window. The guy's a genius, you know, it's all grooved. Uh, there it is, it's all grooved on the inside, so you can glue your panel in if you want. It's got perfect little clips. And these little clips are designed to pop into these little pressings. So these little pressings will go into these little holes here. So I've got one in there, as you can see. So if I'm going to pop another one up the top, I hope that focuses. That just clicks in like that. This isn't the way to be doing this. Sorry, guys, but hopefully you'll hear it snap in. That's it. So now that's a little, little, little clip that will accept, will accept that little, that little part there. So that would pop in, click into that, press fit, and that's your little press fit. And then, so it's got flex in it. So when you want to take it out, it'll flex back off. When you want to pull the, uh, the door back off like so. But absolutely brilliant work um, from what I can see so far um, I've got a little tiny PSU I can put in there but I can you can run a full-size PSU in there if, if you're so inclined no problems um, and, and that's it there's your, your little mini ITX board 
Let me pop that in just for the sake of doing it. I think I've managed to lose my IO plate for this, unfortunately. But that's life. Hey, I'll 3D print one, won't I? Um, but that's pretty easy. Look at that. Wow. That's in. So easy. So, so easy. Let's see if we can't. Uh, So, yeah, that works well, I like that. Rather than screwing into plastic, I'd, I'd much rather screw into something metal than plastic. I don't, I don't imagine that you could put standoffs in there. I don't think it's designed to have a standoff in there. No, you're designed to, it's designed to screw directly into the plastic by the looks of it. Um, let me try and get one down into that corner. Down in there. But everything about this little case has been well thought out. Now, what I what I was looking at, I think the cheapest little case that I could find uh, floating around here, around my way anyway, brand new in a box, it's going to cost me about fifty bucks. Um, I think the designs for this and the and the other two cases was forty bucks. Um, so for forty bucks, um, I get to have this case as many times as I like. And I get to modify it as much as I like. I get to change little bits and pieces here and there that I like. I think it's a dream come true, to be honest. If you, an old case model like me, um, it really makes me want to go and design my own case now. But somebody's already done it, and they've done it really well. Um, I'd love to scale it up. It's you know, this just prints on a uh, bamboo on on our P1P X1Cs and P1S machines. So it's just designed to, to print on that. It'll print on your Prusa, anything else that's 255. You won't get it to print on little enders, I don't think, on your little ender beds. I'm pretty sure if that's an ender 3 V2 there or an ender 3, it ain't going to print on that bed. So, oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Good luck. Good luck getting those edges to sit down. Um, I had a little bit of lifting on mine, as you can see. Um, I didn't glue it up. Like, like I say, I just printed this at breakneck speed. I just wanted it up and up and up and running and, and something I could play with and have a good look at. But, you know, so I, I would say Ender 3, no go. Uh, but Prusa 3, Prusa 4, you know, anything with a 255 bed on it, I think you're good to go. Any of the CRs, anything 300, you'd be good. There is a really cool um, little tutorial it gives you on how to extend this front. Um, so basically, just take it into your favourite, um, into your favourite uh, program, favourite favourite CAD place. <laughs> Might be Tinkercad, and um, just cut and add sections into here to make this longer. If you want that longer for a longer case, so if you've got a really long graphics card, you just extend this front housing. Brilliant, and he's done it all for you. He's shown you all how, he's shown you how to do it. Um, I've gone with the marble, so that, like I said, that's marble with a, with a slightly darker grey to offset everything. But yeah, guys, I, I'm, I'm really stoked and excited. And as you see, I've been picking this up and I've been fart asking about with it, dropping it down, moving it around. This thing hasn't creaked, it hasn't hasn't done, you know, it hasn't made one bit of noise, and it's uh, got four bolts holding it together. So these are all all um, um, are grooved and tongued so they get a, a nice good bite. Um, if you're so inclined, you could run around and, 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 and hard glue it. Uh, there is also the option if you want to, and he says you can insert carbon rods into here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how many carbon rods I've got floating around. Um, uh, but yeah, whatever size, and they run the full length, so you can slip them through. You could maybe run a bead of glue along them, pre-glue them run them right through the guts, and that would make this even infinitely more stronger again. Um, PLA's probably not gonna hold up to the heat. Depends how well you keep it cool, you know? If you install a front fan and a rear fan and you've got nice air flowing through there, um, you've got a CPU cooler sitting right here, your PSU over there, I don't see why you couldn't get away with PLA. I've used PLA in some pretty heated up uh, situations before and it's held up for me. But, you know, uh, PETG is obviously the way to go. Um, I might, it might give one a crack in um, some sexy um, ABS. So I like the feel and touch of APS. You know, um, 
PTG never has that really nice velvety feel to it that you can get out of your um, your, your, your uh, ABS's and PLA's but probably waffled on for long enough guys but that's it mod case guys pay the guy a visit Look, you can actually see the mesh apparently it prints up really nice and that one's obviously got a CPU cooler, a larger fan for his power supply. There's his full-size graphic card up there. Little fan in the backside. Oh, mate, just too cool. Too cool for 40 bucks. You know, I can have this as many times as I want. You know, if, I, if, I, if it melts tomorrow, I'll print another one. If it, if it snaps the next day, I'll print another one. If it, it, you know, it's just if I don't like the color tomorrow, I'll print another one. It really is just that simple. And I think I pretty much got this printed for a roll of PLA. So that's that was the basic case, and then you're adding in your accessories, which will take more. But that for a roll of PLA, and you can pick up a roll of PLA for you know 16 bucks nowadays. Um, that's brilliant. But there it is, guys. Mod case. Go grab yourselves one today. Cheers.